Welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In this video, we're going to look at applications of exponential functions. In our first example, we're told that a medium roast 16 ounce cup of coffee contains about 200 milligrams of caffeine. For the sake of this problem, we're going to just say 200 milligrams. If each hour, the amount of caffeine in your bloodstream is 90% of the previous hour, then the equation would be given as the caffeine is a function of time is 200, the initial amount, times 0.990% to the T, where T is the time in hours since drinking a cup of coffee. How many milligrams are in Bill's system three hours after he drinks, a, we're gonna assume it's a 16 ounce cup of coffee. So three hours, this is what we wanna plug in for T time. So we would say C of three equals 200 times 0 0.9 to the third. And we want to just be careful that our calculator or our brains are using order of operations. And when we do this, I see that after three hours, he would have about 145.8 milligrams of coffee still going in his stream. And of course, if he drinks the second cup, this is going to change everything. So we're just going to assume he just has the one cup and, and no other caffeine. Our next example. So all medicines we take never leave our bloodstream. Instead, they have a half-life, meaning after a certain number of hours, there will be half as much medicine as there was previously. The medicine will keep having itself forever, but alas, it will never reach zero, though it pretty much gets close enough that we can pretty much say zero. But this is important for doctors because when they write us a prescription, a medicine might not be effective if we take it too frequently. So if you go on the z pack they might ask if you've been on the z pack recently because if you've just been on it, it's not gonna work now because your body would be building up immunity to it. Okay, so suppose you get strep throat, oh no, and you need to take 80 milligrams of amoxicillin. Amoxicillin has a half-life of about one hour. So given the equation for the amount of amoxicillin in your bloodstream would be the amoxicillin as a function of time is 80, that dose, times one half to the T, where T is the number of hours since the medicine has been taken. So we wanna determine two things, and we're gonna assume that we only have to take this every 24 hours, so that way we don't have to worry about like taking a second dosage after a certain time, which we won't come across in either of these parts. Okay, so. How much amoxicillin is in your blood after four hours? And then when, were, when would there be less than one milligram of amoxicillin in your blood? So we'll start with A, and we're looking for the amount of amoxicillin after four hours. So that would be 80 times one half to the fourth. Uh, one half to the fourth, that would be 1 16th. And if we type this in our calculators, we would get, let's see, to the, hey, to the fourth we get five milligrams. So after four hours, there would still be five milligrams of amoxicillin. When will there be less than one milligram of amoxicillin? So this is gonna be a little bit different. This is like, when is one greater than 80 times one half to the T? This can be a little bit tricky because, wait, well, we haven't started looking at logarithms yet. We don't know how to get T out of the exponent. So instead what we can do, we know that it's after four hours because when it was four hours, there were five milligrams left. So we can just make a table and figure it out. So we're not gonna do this. We're just gonna say, okay, we're gonna look at T and A of T. We know that if we plug in four, we would get five, because that's what we did in part A. If we plug in five, we're gonna get 2.5, getting closer. Six, we get 1.25, even closer. And seven, we would get uh, 0 0.625. So there it is. So it occurs during the seventh hour. So we can say during the seventh hour or you can say at the seventh hour there will be if we're going just by hours and not you know fractions of hours we can just say during the seventh uh, by the seventh hour there will be less than one milligram of amoxicillin in your bloodstream and these have been two of numerous examples of applications of exponential functions